in this video i'm going to share 11 website design resources that will lift up your design skills i'm going to categorize them from common rare and ungodly so if you watch at the end there's a free gift for you let's get into it the first i'm going to talk about is dribble we all know about dribble this is the most common website design platform out there if you're a beginner this is what you probably know but do you know that dribble also has a feature where you can make collections that i normally do i've been in the game for a couple years now and this is what really helps for poster inspiration 3d designs dashboard so much more so if i'm looking for an inspiration i just come over to check my um creations like my collections this really helps and the funny thing again is that you can see the collection of other designers out there let's say look for clay it's a very big team in the in europe um uh, look at this clay you can check out their work collections um so this is how clay does it they organize their own projects so branding our projects and the likes the second one is going to be lapa the ninja this is a website that has tons tons of inspiration if you come over here it the categories are almost endless bro like so much more so much i just come here and look at web3 stuff when i was like trying to get into web3 there that, like a few months ago and it's just nice like, okay it's cool and you see most of the websites here that you see are quite interactive as well and um definitely check out lapado ninja and let me just show you an example of this this is what a website lapado ninja looks like pretty nice cool right and then scroll cool and this will give you interesting ideas that you can implement in your next website project so definitely check it out everybody knows awards even the beginners know that oh awards is cool or no but the thing is that do you use awards very well if you come over here to explore you can change by category and the likes but you can look at collections just like in dribble there's also collections and awards and in this collection you can vary by color animation types webgl ai tools for designers basically it's like an inspiration site in an inspiration site and it's so cool and by the time i was looking for website inspiration and i ended up seeing some amazing hero sections from awards that really inspired my projects so i'm telling you check out awards and that's just three down so far now imagine we're going for 12. see i'm gonna love this thing let's go now we're going to the rare category now this is not just any website this is SaaS websites the ones that you see for startups ai products and the ones that are ringing the industry right now my first recommendation is SaaS landing pages they are pretty dope pretty dope collections of websites um they have tons of websites and it's just you can't see everything at once so you have to really scroll to see a lot of stuff like you keep loading to so keep seeing to so keep seeing i saw this when they first launched back in 2022 also i'm not even sure when they launched but now i've been using this since 2023 or so and um yeah really cool every week there's a new website they, they put on here if you look at the regular example of what is on there see this is um it's nice it's not exactly animated or all but it's simple it's for businesses that are in the ai startup space so you definitely like find find so you definitely find some interesting patterns that you can steal for your own project so i really use it a lot and i recommend you try it out as well this one on the list is going to be on section on section just like sas landing pages but now imagine every section is categorized so you know we also as hero section testimonials footer cta basically breaks all those things down and makes an inspiration for it so for example i'm looking for testimonial sections you're just gonna see um lots of testimonial sections like okay mm, mm. um the next one on our list is going to be curated or design just like sas landing pages and on section this also categorizes design inspiration tools and so much more right here and recently they got bought by craftwork so the spray the layout is quite different and they have more resources and a subscription plan now but previously it was owned by i don't know who but they had really cool stuff they still do like this is the website as well and let's look at what they have here oh that's nice you mentioned in three languages that's that's pretty cool so this is like a playful website now. this is showing you an example of what they have on their website you know as an inspiration so the next one on our list after that is going to be saspo saspo is also among the rare ones as well now think of sas landing pages but now with a twist is more organized you have numbers of pages they have sections og images and it's just pretty cool i really love it so much like og images are basically what the websites when you say links to somebody online on twitter instagram what image do you see when you share it that's what called open graph image and this is 
an inspiration because you have to design it as a designer you know so you have pages categories assets you know it's pretty cool honestly i think the, the person did a good job of organizing this i still find i come here often it's among my top inspiration sources for design everybody use website right it's cool yeah when you're talking about mobile apps i know there's mobin out there which you should check out as well <laughs> i talk about mobin mobin is definitely among the list you should check out mobin is the top g i use mobin a lot for website projects for mostly web apps and products i'm building so mobin is an amazing resource check it out they have almost everything but it's paid so i'm talking about free resources but let's keep going we're almost done with the red category the next one on our list is ui showcase ui showcase has tons of design resources i know there's inspiration as well but um learning materials have so much more you can see like branding let's look at what they have here branding you see what brands have worked on and how you can like get inspirations on that i particularly find it very helpful because it's not just common this is not what everybody else does some people focus on websites focus on this focus on that but this kind of like focus on almost every single thing which is bloated but also helpful if you are if you don't know what you're looking for yet and you're looking for inspiration helpful and that one i keep, keep coming back to is navba gallery the person that built this actually my friend as well so it's quite interesting to talk about um navba gallery started like in 2023 or so and it is a website gallery for it was a special website for navbars but the thing is that if a website has a good navbar it's a very high likelihood that website is very cool as well so with that in mind if you just check any website here you can say oh this navbar looks cool and you check the website for real you know so i think that while it's focused on navbars it's also a pretty website inspiration not just for navbars alone um, we're going into the ungodly category and i have a few a few here for you the first one on my list is going to be 60 fps as design and i'm mentioning this because people talk about website design and so much more but the thing is that if you're looking for website design and you keep checking websites every single time you're gonna keep seeing website designs but if you go into the category of motion animation and things like that you're going to find more inspirations that are like huh i could apply this concept to the website you know so talking about that this is a website that you see mostly mobile interactions and from ios apps as well because android mostly does it have taste to be honest and um it's pretty cool like i was well, i'm working on my products if you see my last video where i'm building a startup is a product i'm building and i'm looking for inspirations this is where i come and look at micro interactions that are like hmm we could apply this or just to get my eyes getting warmed up the concept of animation how would i build this if it was and there's a lot like 1600 <laughs> categories ever shots here and over 300 apps so definitely check it out um the next one on our list is going to be design spells so just like um the 60 fps of design design spells also has the same vibe talking about motion this is not just mobile apps this is a website as well so you see an um aci look ASCII logo on course terminal basically just like 60 fps and it's just a lot i'll say the categorization is not as nice as 60 fps because 60 fps is more categorized and it's kind of neater but now the next one on our list is going to be online communities so we're talking about podcasts we're talking about twitter and social media because let me tell you something you can listen to a podcast about design or a resource and it's like oh let me check it out and you see an amazing resource that you're like oh that's pretty neat so over the other time i was listening to a podcast between read design and um the is it the, the head of design at meta lab i talk about this new project just worked on windsurf and that's how i found this website and it's just well executed like really cool look at this intro, intro animation isn't that pretty cool i don't know i'm gonna build this you know maybe it's lots of animations or after effects gradients and all but it's pretty cool but the thing is this this i've not seen this website on any website um inspiration website it's only through the conversation i had about it and i checked it out so what i'm telling you is that also keep an eye out keep a year out check out resources online communities and see what people are building and like oh that's pretty cool and i'm going to share some resources you could use to organize your design files so it's going to be easier for you to keep doing this often and often and often that one and that resource you can also use apart from communities is also from courses and programs you get so i've joined courses programs course and so much more and along the way you use some people like oh this one's my website check it out and also some other resources like the person that's teaching you so let's say you go to a design course the person that's teaching you is telling you about how he gets inspiration or who he looks up to if you look up to, if you look up who he looks up to you find some cool stuff as well so i bought the course animations of dev by emil kowanski i'm not sure how to pronounce that well and it's a very amazing course so far i'm in the second module learning css animations 
for the from the product I'm building, it's going to be awesome. And um, he mentioned this guy, Maxime. Maxime is based in the US and is has an amazing design skills. He has a blog as well. And it just I saw that he launched the website recently. And when I checked it out, I was like blown away. This is crazy. Look at this, you know. So if I didn't buy that course, I wouldn't have found out about this guy's stuff, you know. So I'm just telling you that it's also important to, apart from just looking up inspiration, being in the community, but also when you buy courses and programs, look up the things they tell you to look up. This is how you also learn. This is how you, you, you work on your taste. Like, oh, this is crazy. I'm telling you this because this, this is how I learned. So these are my top ways to find design resources and help you get inspiration. You just look up, go to community section on Twitter, and you bookmark them. Like, oh, this person worked on this bookmark, save. Now, let's talk about how you can save these things. Yeah. So, my Twitter here, yeah, this is me. You can check me out, send me a DM. I always reply on Twitter. Bookmarks. In the bookmarks, I like save design inspiration, coding stuff. Basically, I just keep saving stuff and I try to organize them in ways I will keep finding them. And right now, I'm into. Um, Right now, I'm into design engineering, so I keep looking for resources on that end. But overall, bookmark is your friend on Twitter. Get it. Second one is also Dribble for collections. You can use that. And that one I recommend is using Notion. Read made a video. So yeah, Reed made a video three years ago about how he organizes his design inspiration on Notion. Check this video out. How to create the ultimate design swipe file in Notion. The problem, however, is that number one, I use a Notion free plan, so that's number two it's kind of lags so the solution i found out which is not using notion which is also not just um saving as bookmarks is two things first one is making collections on your browser i've been working on this for a while now it's got so much that i can't even organize them anymore it's just so much inspiration and these are from like months ago i just keep finding cool sites. oh there's me working on a portfolio site now i think inspiration okay i look at um agency and portfolio sites um look at who do i know that is cool Oh, design is a very cool this, um, agency website they'll probably they make cool stuff you see they've redesigned this is a very interesting layout i could steal this you know what i'm trying to point out is that you can use your browser to organize your resources and inspiration websites but the problem with this is that if the url gets updated or they redesign that interaction you saw earlier is not going to be seen anymore so that's pretty that's a bummer so one thing i also do from time to time is to organize a figma now i my figma is going to take a while to load um can i share it yeah i can't probably i can't publish it right now but it's going to take a while to load what i use in figma is that i create a page separate page sometimes multiple pages i just say nice designs i see and if i like huh that's cool i just put a comment on it and save it there the hard part is that it's going to be hard to come back to but the good part is that it's always going to be there forever nothing's going to get changed and with the comments you get an idea that oh this is what i found this is where i found it this is the day i found it and it's going to be helpful so I really recommend that you organize your design inspirations so you always have ideas because the ideas you have determines the kind of work you can create. Exposure to taste, to great stuff is going to help you a lot. I can guarantee you it has helped me a lot and I'm not even where I want to be yet. I'm just at 0.1 of my potential. So imagine if I keep going, it's going to get crazier. So that's it. Now, I said I promised you a free resource if you stay to the end. If you click in the screen below, you're going to get access to over 40 plus inspiration websites for you to check out. I also said a few here. If you check that resource, you're going to find over 40 from Frema templates, Webflow, and so much more. I'm telling you this because it could actually potentially help you in the project working on. So, check the screen below, get access to the free community file. And um, with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.